Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number Mississippi State is Mississippi getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he's going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Fights forward to about the 46. Gaining one on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. He lets it go. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. That makes it fourth and 12. Mississippi State's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Here they come. Caught, open field. Tackle at the 49. And he's level at the 48. Tries to buy some time. Right down around the 46 yard line. Let's go, Fires out to his wideout. And he is drilled at the 27 yard line. Number 13 makes the tackle at the 27 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Inside the 10, he's knocked out of bounds around the seven yard line. We've played one quarter. Now this one's scoreless. That makes it first and goal. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Pitch out, got the corner. Touchdown, Mississippi State. He 
He makes the PAT. So a seven play, 79 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Just throws this one away. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. He scrambled. Slides down to the ground. This is a pretty tough guy and is a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. with their ball control. First and 10. Ball on the 25. And they get the sack. Right, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Here's the throw, I don't think he got anything on that. He throws a dart to the right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Big stop by the defense. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Mississippi State is up a score. Give to the tailback. The Bulldogs taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws and it's incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he's taken down at about the 49. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Going deep, lays it out there. Incomplete, almost picked off. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. Mississippi State's lead is a touchdown. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Gathered in at the 6. Brought down at the 31. We're about set to start things up again. Mississippi State is up 7. Got it and brought down immediately. That'll bring up 2nd and 3. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. And down he goes, right around the 40. Yeah, I'm not shocked to see him have a chance to run the football. I remember being out of practice earlier this week, and one thing that became very clear is this wide receiver not only can make great plays in the passing game, but they're going to try to do what they can on reverses and different things to get him the football. And here's an example of what he can do and how explosive he can be. That's good for game of 13 yards. First down. Ready! Right in! Nice run up the middle. Nice receptacle. Game of 4 yards. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Throws incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. This is the eighth play of this drive. Mississippi State up seven points. Tackle made at the 16. Touchdown, Bulldogs! He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He laterals. Got the corner. They'll bring him down at the 41. That's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball. And it got him a first down. A 
man down, and he's in some pain right now. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Gains his way to midfield. That'll make it second and inches. Roger, Roger. Mike 50, Mike 50. Yeah. You don't want none. That's three down and one to go. Mississippi State's lead is two touchdowns. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Just under two to go in the game. Check, check. Eagle. He's taken down at about the 39 yard line. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Goes quick to the receiver and falls incomplete. Number 22, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it four inches. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. Heading for the corner, and he hits him hard at the 29 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Falcons will use their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Little handoff. The Falcons use their second time out. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll drop in for a loss. Taken back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. A little over a minute in the game. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 35. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. And he's got the junior. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. So after the mishap, we've got first down going the other way. Often, you'll see this from a playmaker. He tried to do a little bit extra and ended up losing the ball. It's a nice play by the defense to recover that ball. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team.
And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, 14-0, Mississippi State. And the Falcons. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.